if you are one of the few people that actually enjoy Rings of Power, you're not going to like this video because get a load of this. The Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power Season 2, seemingly losing viewers already. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, dude, we're only, we're only a weekend, right? And these geniuses on Amazon, they said, hey, let, let's go ahead and get people ready. Let's release three episodes all at once, which they did. They were complete dog shit, by the way. And I'm going to show you exactly why season two of Rings of Power is, is, is gearing up to be even worse than season one of Rings of Power because the changes that these woke activists are making to the Lord of the Rings lore is, is atrocious, right? And I'm going to show you in just a second exactly what I mean. But first off, let me remind you guys. Is 100% true, right? I, I covered this in a video a while back. Only 37% of the people that started watching season one of Rings of Power ended up finishing it. That's right. Hardly nobody finished this, this dog shit show. I couldn't. I, I honestly tried. I wanted to give this show a chance because I'm like, okay, this is in Disney. This is Amazon. They, they spent a, a, a billy on two seasons, right? 500 million on each season. And, 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 and the show does look stunning. It does look spectacular. It looks good, gorgeous. However, the writing was horrible. Complete dog shit writing. It made absolutely no sense. And of course, the reason why is because the the, the focus of this show, right? It's, its main objective was not to make a good Lord of the Rings adaptation. No, the main focus was this right here. Making Galadriel the hero of, of Lord of the Rings, making her the face of Lord of the Rings. They wanted to make her the boss, right? And, and they, made, they made these weird changes in order to do so. They made every other dude in the show be a dweeb, a dork, right? They, they, they changed the way the elves look because inclusivity and all that dog shit, even though, here's the thing, guys, they're elves. Elves don't exist. Why are you going to try and make them uh, relatable to, to human beings? They're not. They're not human beings. They're elves. But that's just one of many stupid changes these idiots are, 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 are making over at Amazon. But, but in season two of Rings of Power, they made a change that I, I just can't stomach. I ain't gonna hold you, okay? And, and it deals with these creatures right here, right? We all know who these are. These are the orcs. In Peter Jackson's rendition of the orcs, they were evil. They were the bad guys. They look like the bad guys. They talk like the bad guys. They do some pretty evil shit. In this scene right here, which I'm not going to play for you, uh, and you guys know this know this scene. This is, you know, meat, meat's back on the menu, boys. We all know this scene. They're getting ready to eat the hobbits, right? They're, they're evil. They're, they're not meant to be relatable in any way. You're supposed to look at these, at these, at these creatures and fear them. But not anymore. Now, this is what these geniuses over at Amazon did to the orcs in season two of Rings of Power. Look at this. They gave the orcs families. That's right. They made them morally good. Right, they, they. I think in this scene, they're like, oh, we, we don't want to go to war. We just want to live in peace and raise our little orc kids, you know? I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I I I, <laughs> I busted out laughing when I saw this dog shit, bro. And, and and this is just more the same with woke Hollywood now. They're trying to erase good and evil. They want everyone uh, to be accepted no matter what, right? Including orcs here. They want everyone to be in this morally gray standpoint. That's what they did with Star Wars. You know, you heard all those 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 actors they hired. You know, oh, there really isn't good and evil in Star Wars. And, and they're doing the same thing here with Rings of Power, with, with Lord of the Rings. They're trying to make it that Sauron is, is morally gray. He can be likable. They're making the orcs over here, you know, changing diapers and shit. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. But again, <laughs> it's because of this that people are walking away from Rings of Power right here. It, between episode one and episode three, there was a 52% drop-off <laughs> of viewership. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it, 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 it's really a shame. And I, the, only, the only thing that I feel good about in all of this is that Dr. Tolkien is not alive 
to see what they're doing to his creation. I mean, it's it's truly it, it, the, the the woke mind virus, really, man. It, it it is probably the most destructive thing that has plagued our society in in the past decade for sure. I mean, it is destroying everything. It's destroying our entertainment, our politics, our culture, everything. It's all destroying it, man. And that's why I'm here, and that's why I want you to join me and subscribe to my channel, support me, so I can keep making these videos, right? Because we have to hold these, we have to hold these assholes accountable for what they're doing, man. And we have to let them know that we are the majority. We are tired of this woke bullshit, bro. We, it, 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 we're not with it, and we're showing them by not watching. So anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments, and like always, don't forget to subscribe. Sensational.